How's it going, people? Just finishing up here. Figured I'd read one more section. Since the last one was so brief. I mean, I should be grateful after the preceding one. <sighs> but I wasn't done yet. Now I am. Okay. Section 109. Prayer offered at the dedication of the temple at Kirtland, Ohio, March 27th, 1836. According to the prophet's written statement, this prayer was given to him by revelation. No kidding. He didn't just pull that out of his ass. I mean, it was given to him by God. See History of the Church, Volume 2, page 410. Okay. If I ever find a copy, I'll look it up. One. Thanks, to, thanks be to thy name, O Lord God of Israel, who keepeth covenant and showeth mercy uh, unto, my, unto thy servants, who walk uprightly before thee with all their hearts. Two, thou who hast commanded thy servants to build a house to thy name in this place. Kirtland in brackets. Three, and now thou beholdest, O Lord, that thy servants have done according to thy commandment. Four, and now we ask thee, Holy Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of thy bosom, in whose name alone salvation can be administered to the children of men, we ask thee, O, o Lord, to accept of this house the workmanship of the hands of us, thy servants, which thou didst command us to build. No gopher wood was uh, found, though. All right. Five. For thou knowest that we have done this work through great tribulation. And out of our poverty, we have given of our substance to build a house to thy name, that the Son of Man might have a place to manifest himself to his people. 6. And thou hast said in a revelation given to us, calling us thy friends. Your imaginary friend just called you his friend. Uh, saying, call your solemn assembly as I have commanded you. 7. And as all have not faith, seek ye diligently to teach one another words of wisdom, yea, seek out of the best books <coughs> words of wisdom, seek learning even by study and also by faith. 8. Organize yourselves. Uh, prepare every needful thing and establish a house, even a house of prayer, a house of fasting, a house of faith, a house of learning, a house of glory, a house of order, a house of God. So it's, you know, multi-purpose. At least multi-title. Nine, that your incomings may be in the name of the Lord, that your outgoings may be in the name of the Lord, that all your salutations may be in the name of the Lord, with uplifted hands unto the Most High. Ten, and now, Holy Father, we ask thee to assist us, thy people, with thy grace, in calling our solemn assembly, that it may be done to thine honor and to thy divine acceptance. 
11. And in a manner that we may be found worthy in thy sight to secure a fulfillment of the promises which thou hast made unto us, thy people, in the revelations given unto us. 12. That thy glory may rest down upon thy people and upon this thy house, which we now dedicate to thee, that it may be sanctified and consecrated to be holy, and that thy holy presence may be continually in this house. It, isn't he a, omniscient? <laughs> he's in your house and he's everywhere else. <sighs> Supposedly. Uh, 14, wait, uh, 13, and that all people who shall enter upon the threshold of the Lord's house may feel thy power and feel constrained to acknowledge that thou hast sanctified it and that it is thy house a place of thy holiness. And do thou uh, grant, Holy Father, that all those who shall worship in this house may be taught words of wisdom out of the best books, and that they may seek learning even by study and also by faith, as thou hast said. 15. And that they may grow up in thee and receive a fullness of the Holy Ghost and be organized according to thy laws and be prepared to obtain every needful thing. <coughs> oh, I need that. 16. And that this house may be a house of prayer, a house of fasting, a house of faith, a house of glory and of God, even thy house. 17. A little padding there, huh? <laughs> that all the incomings of thy people into this house may be in the name of the Lord. 18. That all their outgoings from this house may be in the name of the Lord. 19. And that all their salutations may be in the name of the Lord, with holy hands uplifted to the Most High. 20. And that no unclean thing may be permitted to come into thy house to pollute it. So you can't even break wind in that house. It's just impossible. <laughs> 21. And when thy people transgress, any of them, they may, may be speedily, wait, they may speedily repent and return unto thee and find favor in thy sight. If they backslide, they can just get right again. <sighs> and be restored to the blessings which thou hast ordained to be poured out upon those who shall who shall reverence thee in thy house. 22. And we ask thee, O Holy Father, that thy servants may go forth from this house armed with thy power, and that thy name may be upon them, and thy glory be round about them, and thine angels have charge over them, and their, thy holy undies protect them. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, 23. And from this place they may bear exceedingly great and glorious tidings in truth unto the ends of the earth, that they may know that this is thy work, and that thou hast put forth thy hand to fulfill that which thou hast spoken concerning the last days, which 
It's still going on. I mean, that was 1836, and it's still going on, the last days. And tomorrow's going to be a last day, too, and next week. And we're always in the last days. And they mean it. All right. 24. We ask the Holy Father to establish the people that shall worship and honorably hold a name and standing in thy house to all generations and for eternity. That's even longer than the Scientologists talk about. They're only into the billions of years. These guys want eternity. 25. That no weapon formed against them shall prosper. Unless it does. <laughs> I mean, Joey got shot, didn't he? Not only that, but he was tarred and feathered earlier on. <laughs> Something went wrong, I guess, with, a, with that Jedi power of his. All right. Uh, that he who diggeth a pit from them shall fall into the same himself. All right. We're uh, stealing from the book of Ecclesiasticus. Ben Sirach. All right. Jesus Ben Sirach. See, they, they know the Apocrypha, too. 26. That no combination of wickedness shall have power to rise up and prevail over thy people, upon whom thy name shall be put in this house. 27. And if any people shall rise against this people, that thine anger be kindled against them, unless it isn't. <laughs> and they got to run off to Salt Lake City. <laughs> 28. And if they shall smite this people, thou wilt smite them, unless he does it. And he didn't. <laughs> thou wilt fight for this people, as thou didst in, in a day of battle, that they may be delivered from the hands of all their enemies. But something went wrong, and it didn't happen. Then again, there was supposed to be an Indian uprising, that apocalyptic and all. That didn't happen either. What a prophet. Profiteer. All right. Um, 29. <clears throat> we ask the Holy Father to confound and astonish and to bring to shame and confusion all those who spread lying reports abroad over the world against thy servant or servants, if they will not repent, when the everlasting gospel shall be proclaimed in their ears. <coughs> 30. And that all their works may be brought to naught, and be swept away by the hail and by the judgments which thou wilt send upon them in thine anger that they may be uh, an end to lying, that there may be an end to lying and slanders against thy people. 31. For thou knowest, O Lord, that thy servants have been innocent before thee in bearing record in, of thy name, for which they have suffered these things. Well, they be naive, be gullible, not necessarily innocent. 32. Therefore, we plead before thee for a full and complete deliverance from under this yoke. The yoke is on you. 33. Break it off, O Lord. Break it off from the necks of thy servants, that yoke. Um, by thy power, that we may rise up in the midst of this generation and do thy work. 1836. Uh, 34. O Jehovah, have mercy upon this people, and as all men sin, forgive the transgressions of thy people, and let them be blotted out forever. 35. Let the anointing of thy ministers be sealed upon them with power from on high. 36. Let it be fulfilled upon them as upon those on the day of Pentecost. 
let the gift of tongues be poured out upon thy people, even cloven tongues, as a fire. Cloven is in like fork tongue. <laughs> uh, and the interpretation thereof. See, they used to speak in tongues. And I'm not talking that they spoke unknown, uh, you know, they weren't speaking French when they didn't know it, or German, or no, they were speaking babble that only angels and and uh, charlatans can understand. <sighs> Sorry, lost my place. Thirty-seven. And let thy house be filled as with a rushing mighty wind with thy glory. Thirty-eight. Put upon thy servants the testimony of the covenant, that when they go out and proclaim thy word, they may seal up the law and prepare the hearts of their, thy saints all these judgments thou art about to send in thy wrath upon the inhabitants of the earth because of their transgressions that thy people may not faint in the day of trouble. 39. And whoso, whatsoever city thy servant shall enter and the people of that city receive their testimony let thy peace and thy salvation be a upon that city, that they may gather out of that city the righteousness, that they may come forth to Zion, and that's Jackson County, Missouri, which is a somewhat prosperous. I We drove through it. Uh, uh, or to her stakes, the places of thine appointment with songs of everlasting joy. 40. And unto this be, uh, until this be accomplished, let thine judgments fall upon that, let thine judgments not fall upon that, ju that city. 41. And whatsoever city thy servant shall enter, and the people of that city receive not thy testimony of thy servants, and thy, uh, and thy servants warned them to save themselves from this untoward generation. <clears throat> Let it be upon that city according to that which thou hast spoken by the mouth of thy prophets. That thy prophets. 42. But deliver thou, O Jehovah, we beseech thee, thy servants from their hands, and cleanse them of their blood. 43. O Lord, we delight not in the destruction of our fellow men. Their souls are precious before thee. 44. But thy word must be fulfilled. Help thy servants to say with thy grace, assisting them, Thy will be done, O Lord, and not ours. 45. We know that thou hast spoken by the mouth of thy prophets terrible things concerning the wicked. In the last days, 1936, 1836, uh, that Thou wilt pour out thy judgments without measure. 46. Therefore, O Lord, deliver thy people from the calamity of the wicked. Enable thy servants to seal up the law and bind up the testimony that they may be prepared against the day of burning. 47. We ask thee, O Father, to remember those who have been driven by the inhabitants of Jackson County, Missouri, from the lands of their inheritance. Uh -huh. 
and break off, O Lord, this yoke of affliction that has been put upon them. Hmm. 48. Thou knowest, O Lord, that they have been greatly oppressed and afflicted by wicked men, and our hearts flow out with sorrow because of their grievous burdens. 49. O oh Lord, how long wilt thou suffer this people to bear this affliction? He's still suffering it. And they're still bearing it. But they almost had a president of the United States. Almost. And the cries of their innocent ones to ascend up to thine ears, and their blood come up in testimony before thee, and not make a display of thy testimony on their behalf. Yeah, come on, get with it. Fifty. Have mercy, O Lord, upon the wicked mob who have driven thy people, that they may cease to spoil, that they may repent of their sins, in re if repentance is to be found. Fifty-one. But if they will not, make bare thine arm, O Lord, and redeem that which thou didst appoint a Zion unto thy people. Yeah, give them back Jackson County, Missouri. Still waiting. 52. And if it cannot be otherwise, that the cause of thy people may not fail before thee, may thine anger be kindled, and thine indignation fall upon them, that they may be wasted away, both root and branch, from under heaven. 53. But, insomuch as they will repent, thou art gracious and merciful, and wilt turn away thy wrath, when thou lookest upon the face of thine anointed. 54. Have mercy, O Lord, upon all the nations of the earth. Have mercy upon the rulers of our land. May those principles which are so honorably and nobly defended, namely the constitution of our land, by our fathers be established forever. 55. Remember the kings, the princes, the nobles, and the great ones of the earth, and all people, and the churches, all the poor, the needy, the afflicted ones of the earth. 56. That their hearts may be softened when thy servants shall go out from thy house, O Jehovah, and bear testimony of thy name, that their prejudices may give way before the truth, and thy people may obtain favor in the sight of all. 57. That all the earth, wait, that all the ends of the earth may know that we, thy servants, have heard thy voice, and that thou hast sent us from door to door, father and people. 58. That from among all those thy servants, the sons of Jacob, may gather out the righteousness to build a holy city in thy name as thou hast commanded them. 59. We ask thee to appoint unto Zion other stakes besides this one, which thou hast appointed, that the gathering of thy people may roll on in great power and majesty, that thy work may be cut short in righteousness. 60. Now these words, O Lord, we have spoken before thee concerning the revelations and commandments which thou hast given unto us, who are identified with the Gentiles. 61. But thou knowest that thou hast a great love of the children of Jacob, who have been scattered upon the mountains for a long time in a cloudy and dark day. 62. We therefore ask thee to have mercy upon the children of Jacob, that Jerusalem from this hour may begin to be redeemed. 
63. And the yoke of bondage may begin to be broken off from the house of David. There is no house of David left. 64. And the children of Judah may begin to return to the lands which thou didst give to Abraham thy father. Care to give us a date, Mr. Prophet? <laughs> 65. And cause that the remnants of Jacob, who have been cursed and smitten because of their transgressions, be converted from their wild and savage condition to the faithfulness of ever, the everlasting gospel. Or this one, maybe. 66. That they may lay down their weapons of bloodshed and cease their rebellion. 67. And may all the scattered remnants of Israel who have been driven to the ends of the earth <coughs> come to the knowledge of the truth, believe in the Messiah. They do. They just don't think it's J.C. He hasn't come yet. And be redeemed from oppression and rejoice before thee. 68. O Lord, remember thy servant, Joseph Smith, Jr., and all his afflictions and persecutions, like being tarred and feathered and carried out on a rail. Oh, he has covenanted with Jehovah and vowed to thee, O mighty God of Jacob, and the commandments which thou hast given unto him, and that thou hast sincerely striven to do thy will. 69. Have mercy, O Lord, upon his wife and children. Which wife? <laughs> Which kids? Um, that they may be exalted in thy presence and preserved by thy fostering hand. Or not. Seventy. Have mercy upon all their immediate connections, if you're connected. that their prejudices may be broken up and swept away as with a flood, that they may be converted and redeemed with Israel, and know that thou art God. 71. Remember, O Israel, the presidents, even all the presidents of thy church, that they, that thy right hand may be exalted, may exalt them, with all their families and their immediate connections, that their names may be perpetrated, uh, perpetuated and had in everlasting remembrance from generation to generation. 72. Remember all thy church, O Lord, with all their families and all their immediate connections, with all their sick and afflicted ones, with all the poor and meek of the earth, that the kingdom which thou hast set up without hands may become a great mountain and fill the whole earth. Seventy-three. That thy church may come forth out of the wilderness of darkness and shine forth fair as the moon, clear as the sun, and terrible as an army with banners. 74. And be adorned as a bride for that day when thou shalt unveil the heavens and cause the, the mountains to flow down at thy presence and the valleys to be exalted, the rough places to be made smooth, that thy glory may fill the earth. 75. That when the trump shall sound for the dead, we shall be caught up in a cloud to meet thee, that we may ever be with the Lord who's above a cloud. <laughs> cloud 9. 76. That our garments may be pure. <laughs> that we may be clothed 
upon with robes of righteousness, with palms in our hands, and crowns of glory upon our heads, and reap eternal joy for all their sufferings. Harps and wings and halos and all that shit. Yeah. 77. Oh, Lord God Almighty, hear us in these our petitions and answer us from heaven, please. Thy holy habitation. Where thou sitteth enthroned in the heavens. Somewhere up there. Majesty. Oh, wait. Uh, throne with glory, honor, power, majesty, might, dominion, truth, justice, judgment, mercy, and an infinite infinity of fullness from everlasting to everlasting because they connect you know that's how they keep lasting 78 oh hear oh hear oh hear us oh lord and answer these petitions and accept the dedication of this house unto thee the working of our hands which we have built unto thy name. Why didn't he just build it himself without hands? He could do that, you know. Can't he? 79. And also this church, to put upon it thy name and help us by the prayer of thy, the power of thy spirit, that we may mingle our voices with those bright, shining uh, seraphs around thy throne. <laughs> and uh, with exclamations of praise, singing Hosanna to the name, to the God of the Lamb. 80. And let these thine anointed ones be clothed with salvation, and thy saints shout out for joy. Amen and amen. Damn it. And that's it for uh, 108. That's it for my chilada. And that's it for my patience. Anyway, we, we learned a lot there, didn't we? And you'll tell me what that is, so I'll agree with you. Maybe. Uh, anyway, uh, it seems like they got ran out of Jackson County, but it's hard to tell. Uh, it sounds like we're coming up to the time when uh, things are about to change. Anyway. Getting good. I know it's hard to tell, but I, I can see that this is leading up to something. Let's see how they explain it away. Stay tuned. More to come, eventually. Peace. The fuck out. Have a wonderful, whatever the fuck it is you're having, because I want you to. Bye.